Ciudad Autódromo. This is cool. Welcome back everybody, Buenos Aires, Argentina. We're here out on the streets again today, and today we're gonna go check out, well, we're gonna go check out some more cars. In our last video, we saw the uh, amazing, amazing auto show, Auto Classic up in San Isidro, and today we're gonna see some cars in action. We're going to the Autodromo here in Buenos Aires, the uh, racetrack because it's track day and we're gonna go see some some people race their cars I guess so come along thanks for clicking on the video if you want to help out the channel and help it grow I really would appreciate it click on the like button down there the subscribe button and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop it really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers if you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video. Enjoy. The track is kind of far away. It's like we have to take a, a subte to another subte to another subte and then get on a tram and head like all the way out to the end of the tram line. And then at the end of that tram line, we get off and we walk like about a mile or so, I think, and then we're at the track. So it's going to be a bit of a journey. So let's get started. All right, so we're here, Medrano. We're going to go over here to line H. We're going to take line H south and pick up line E. And then we take line E all the way out to the end of the line transfer to a tram. There's an above ground tram that runs out in the south, like southwest part of the city. We're going to take that tram all the way out to the end of the line and that's where the racetrack is. Autodromo de Buenos Aires, Oscar Iwan Galvez. And I ended up taking the, uh, I ended up actually accidentally taking the wrong tram, but it worked out better because uh, the tram station that I ended up at, there's a bus stop right there. So we got to take the bus straight here. Just dropped us off right here on this corner so we didn't have to make that long walk. Anyway, we're gonna head over there, see if we can get a ticket check out the check out the races I can already see cars zooming around inside the events been going on for like a couple hours already so let's go over there and uh, let's go over there and check it out I'm pretty psyched also just a note uh, when I was on my way here I got a message from our buddy Charlie XP and uh, turns out he uh, didn't think he was gonna be available today but he is so he's actually gonna come out here and meet us at some point, so stay tuned for that. All right, well, we're past the first gate. The guy at the gate there told me that the, we could buy a ticket up here somewhere. All right, we got our ticket. Track day, Argentina. 11,000 pesos, not a bad deal, man. 11,000 pesos for uh, like a whole day of uh, racing. And I'm already seeing an awesome car come by. Awesome old classic car. Looks kind of like a Chevelle. Very cool. All right. The nice lady who sold me this ticket told me that we go up here, I don't know, like uh, halfway up, up the curve here, and there's like an entrance where we can go down under and we end up in the grandstands, which are like right on the other side of this wall here. Here we are, Ciudad Autodromo. 
Juan Manuel Fandio, Juan Galvez, and Oscar Galvez, who I imagine are very famous uh, race car drivers. I, I don't know. Look, I'm gonna be really honest. I'm not like a super huge racing fan. Um, I like it, but I'm not like super tapped in, and I'm definitely not super tapped in into like the Argentine racing scene and history, but still gonna be really cool. Here we are, the track. And uh, I have come up into the section where the sun is beating down. There goes a red hot little Honda CRX flying by. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm obviously clearly in the wrong section. I should go sit over in the shady section over there. A little Mini Cooper. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Of course, here's just the straightaway in front of the grandstand. You can see the track actually goes all the way out there. Here comes that little mini. Super hot, so you can see the track, like it goes all the way out. It goes down there. I think it actually runs like out, down, and around that. Like the full track runs all the way down around that reservoir. I don't think they have that open. I think they're using a shorter track, which runs sort of like over into into these sections over here you can actually see there's cars going around that section over there and then eventually they roll on back through here and they end up coming through the straightaway pits are here super cool and it looks like there's a bunch of bunch of cars waiting in the pits i don't know if they've run already or if they're like queuing up to run but it's super cool because it is track day. This is not like um, this is not like a professional race, right? This is track day. These people just bring in their own cars that they have all tuned up, coming here and just running the track, which is super cool. I'm gonna try and find a seat. this tiny little yellow like leave it leave it to the little Honda to be the loudest one on the track but there's this tiny little I just missed him when I came down here to get these shots there's this tiny little uh, I don't even know what it is it's a track car like it's a it's a track car that someone built just for the track I don't know it'll come by again in a, a couple of minutes and I'll show it to you man because the thing is crazy you can see it as it flies by. There goes that Mustang that's been cruising around. It, if the Mustang just came by, that yellow track car, yeah, here it is. Look at this thing. Damn, I don't know what the hell that is, but <laughs> it's really cool. Tricked out BMW M3. That Audi should be coming around any second. filming down here by the track, but uh, I'm pretty thirsty. And I want to explore around the facility a little bit too, to like check out the racetrack, right? 
So, uh, here comes Here's that super loud ass uh, Honda Civic. Anyway, there's like a little uh, tunnel here to get um, to get underneath the track, and you can go out like into the center part there where all the pits are. I think maybe we'll be able to take a look at some of these. Uh, take a look at some of the cars up close, and um, also over there, I think there's like a little cafe where we can get like uh, something to drink. Back here by the pits, there is cafe right here where we can go get something to drink oh sick is that Mustang this is not the Mustang that was just running I don't think I think this is the Mustang that was cruising around when we first got here pretty hot all right let's go over and get in line get ourselves something to drink and uh, honestly we're gonna see a lot of Mustangs here they're, they're, they're super popular one Mustang Mach 1. Super cool. All right, let's get a drink. All right, we got some water. We ran into our buddy Charlie XP. He's around here somewhere. He went off to like explore down here in the cajas, the boxes, right? The pits where all the different cars are. the same car. It was like a project that they developed together. I can't remember the name of that thing. Anybody down in the comments remember the name of that, that uh, guy was? Oh, here's that Mach 1. Or one of them. I mean, who knows? It's another one of those Toyotas. Yo, it is that Mach 1. I don't know if it's the same Mach 1 that we saw before. Or if it's a different one, there could be a lot. Honestly, like I said, um, Mustangs are super popular down here. As you, if, if you watched our video from the uh, Auto Classica, you can see that Mustangs are super popular down here in Argentina. The Mustang Club of Argentina was like, uh, there were like 100 Mustangs in there. It was probably the largest section out of the whole, um, like out of everything there. Check that video out, link in the description. Auto Classica. Lots of awesome cars we saw in the last video. Oh, this is that uh, little Honda CRX. This is the car we saw at the very beginning when we first came in, I think, that was zooming around, the little Honda CRX. to be the loudest. Super WRX here, the black one on the other side of the Honda. It's hard to tell which car is making which noise. I think the loud one wasn't actually a Honda. But anyway, take a look at that Super w, that WRX right there, man. Classic. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got uh, some Audis, Volkswagens. There's a BMW over there. I'm gonna go and try and find that little yellow, uh, that little yellow like track car, that kit car that was flying around. I think he's probably off the track by this point. We've been over here in the pits for like 20 minutes or so. He's got to be off the track by now. Let's go find him. Well, we didn't find that that car. 
that little uh, yellow car yet. Not yet, but I think this is the uh, the Audi R8 that was flying around. I mean, if it's not the same one, it's really nice. Super nice. R8s are sick. Rear engine. You can check out the engine in the back. Rear engine under glass. Looks super hot. This one. Got really nice black rims. That's a good looking car. Let's see if we can see this. Uh, if that little, that little yellow car is in here. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing is nuts. Oh, it's got Uruguay plates. Crazy. This guy came from Uruguay. Yo, look at this thing. I have no idea what this thing is, but man, it's nuts. SR3 Track Sport. Huh. I mean, obviously, this is not a daily driver. This thing is built, like, specifically for track day. SR3 Track Sport. And you can see, like, there's a lot of cool cars here, but like everybody's kind of crowded around this one, trying to take pictures, right? Taking pictures of this bad boy, because this is cool. It's like a very, very unique car, right? It's R3 Track Sport. I don't know if this is like a, a custom, or if there is like a company that makes these things like specifically for track days. It looks like it is it says powered by power tech yeah i don't know anybody anybody in the comments know anything about this car anybody anybody know anything all i know is it's, it's hot it's a hot car i think this one was going around yeah was going around with that uh, that yellow track car. They were in the same. They were running the same laps. It was like these two. Uh, what else? There was that Audi R8. Some other ones too. I don't know. Honestly, they're all starting to blend together. And it's not like it's definitely not going to be unheard of for there to be two of the same kind of car, like especially like in the same color. I think this Peugeot was going around with them too. Uh, oh, that, uh, yeah, that Mini, that's that Mini up there. That was going around uh, like when we first got here. Yo, that's awesome. They're actually doing work on a lot of these cars, maintenance, changing tires and stuff like that. So I don't want to like, you know, get up in there and just be the idiot with the camera, but it is cool to like check all these things out. He's like, uh, oh, there's our buddy right there, Charlie XP. Hola, amigo. Diga hola. Hey, there he is. There's this sick old, older, uh, like, I think it's a BMW over here. This one was going around. I saw this one going around too. I can't remember what other cars it was with, but this is great. Old, like, very early 90s or possibly like 80s, 1980s BMW. Super cool. Super cool. Lots of cool stuff to see down here in the pits. And there's more cars coming in all the time. Because the parking lot is like right around the back here. So there's this like CRX coming in right here. Of course. Super tricked, super loud CRX, of course. Right? Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at that CRX that just pulled in. Look at this thing. Gonna go up and get up close to the track, maybe here. Damn, that BMW though, man. Like, I really like this. 
This BMW right here. I think it's so sick. Thing. I don't know if you can see this. You're probably not gonna see this in the video. They're coming by so fast. BMW. Hey, chill. See. Si. Wait. I. I. There's. There's a Volvo. I own Volvo. Volvo. What? Vol Volvo. Volvo. Si, si. Creo yes. que si. Oh, I didn't see. Muy, muy viejo. Muy viejo. Un, 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 uh, un uh, Honda. Honda? CRX? Honda. Honda. Do you like it, the, the races? Do you know about this? Or? Mm, un poco, un poco. Un poco? En, en Estados Unidos... Um, es... Uh, Like to see that thing flying around. I like Audis. I'm a big fan of Audis. I'm not gonna lie. And I especially like um, the sleeper cars. And that Audi is is kind of a sleeper, right? It's got a very daily driver kind of a look. And uh, you know, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know that. I mean, an A5 is nothing to like. A5s are pretty quick, but like a tuned A5. You know, a sleeper A5. That's pretty cool. Coming around now, there's that Volkswagen. The uh, the last car, the Audi, just left. Just left the pits here and headed out on the track about 30 seconds ago. Oh, here they come. It's that Toyota.
he comes. That's pretty sick. This is the car we just saw roll through. It's a Renault. It is a Renault. Renault Fuego. It's really sick. BMW just pulled in. This is hot. This thing. This thing is real nice. from up here in the grandstands. I really like that car, honestly. Just It's just a, such a sleeper. It's just someone's everyday driver that is like very tuned. There is not a lot of, yeah, listen to this thing. When it goes by, it sounds like a... It sounds like it's about to take off. I love it. I think that Renault Fuego going to be coming around. We saw him go by on the track earlier. super popular here in the 80s. BMW is going out. That sick, like, I don't know, late 80s, maybe early 90s BMW, the black one, just went out. Been waiting all day to see that thing go out. That crazy little Fiat's going out again, too. Another one of the Mach 1s heading out.
came over here to the speeder cart track. Hopped over here real quick. Charlie drove. Thank you, Charlie, for driving. Oh, man. I'm so happy, honestly, that Charlie came in his car because it means I'm not going to have to take a bus to a tram to a soup day to a soup day to a soup day to get back. That's how we got here. Three, three uh, different subway trains and then a tram and then a bus. It's going to be nice being able to just be chauffeured back by our friend Charlie. Thanks again, Charlie. Anyway, these speeder carts basically a go-kart with like a 50cc motorcycle engine in it. <laughs> These do look super fun though, I mean man. It'd be fun to zip around in one of these things. And it's a cool little track that they have here too, honestly. It's got some cool turns. We're catching them coming right through this little S curve right here. Very cool. We got up on the roof. The roof of all the garages, the boxes. Here they come. That little red CRX is out again, the one that was running. That loud ass little guy that was running when we first came in. A couple of the cars that were running when we were first here are out again. On the other side of the roof, you can actually see a little bit more closely the uh, the other parts of the track, right? You catch this turn over here. There's the little mini going around that turn. It's pretty cool. This is a very, very, uh, it's a very fun outing, I think. Very fun outing. And I really enjoyed being here at the racetrack. And like, the fact that we were able to go to the Auto Classica in our last video, and then come here to the uh, Autodromo and see cars racing around. Like in our same in the same state, the fact that like the Auto Classico was going on and this race at the Auto Promo was going on, and we just happened to be here for it in Buenos Aires, I'm I'm super happy about that, honestly. But we've seen a lot of really cool cars here. I think uh, I think we've seen oh we've heard a lot of cool cars. We've seen them flying around here on the track. But I think that's going to be it for the video. I think it's time to call it. Man, it was a good trip. I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. And uh, stick around, stick around. We're, we're coming to the end of our stay here in Buenos Aires, but there's gonna be some more videos from Argentina from a different city as well coming up. So, um, so definitely stick around for that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around, plenty more videos coming from here in Argentina, and we will see you in the next one.